Anyway, what to do hoes? It's your girl Sherry Lisa here and I am back with another video. I want to do one of my classic favorites, which I haven't done in a very long time, which is empties. I keep a little bodega bag, bodega bag with empty bottles of things that I've tried over the last couple months. I have been really excited to do this video because I have um, hair and skin, one makeup product and deodorant that I want to talk so, about. When I was blonde, I used to use this High Pro Pack Brilliant and Bright Blonde Hair. Uh, it was a purple toning treatment shampoo. One of the things I fucked up on when I first started going blonde a couple years ago was using regular shampoo and conditioner and I would get really brassy and dried out hair very quickly and I know, I know this should be obvious but you should use shampoo that matches that unless you you just have like your natural hair. Um, I do really like this shampoo if I was to go um, back to blonde, I would use this again. I like that it was purple in lather. A really nice um, shampoo one because it doesn't strip your hair, obviously, of the color. But what was nice is that I felt like my, my scalp was clean, which I think is rare to find in a uh, hair product that is supposed to look, um, keep the longevity of the hair color that, that you chose, whether it's blonde, red, purple, whatever. Um, it's got really good ingredients, and I like that it has rice extra, which is supposed to help the... Um, the buoyancy the healthiness of your hair and so those are great things for me i would repurchase this if i was blonde i did have this way it's a mini size it's a finishing cream i like this i didn't realize i liked it until it got to the end because i think i was no i believe i was using it incorrectly and this is one of those products that when you're a natural hair girl you should always do the lock method leave-in oil cream and this is like the perfect product to do that last step yeah, but I've I got a couple skincare products in here that I really love that I really would purchase the first thing that I would talk about is this Dr. Dennis Gross C plus collagen perfect skin set and refreshments I really 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 enjoyed this how I discovered that I enjoyed it which I think there's like a spray left I don't know is it not um when I worked at Sephora this was given to me and it sat in my skincare closet skincare box closet I don't know it's like a it's ridiculous the products that I still have left but I'm very very blessed and very grateful to still have um it took me a while to start using this because I was like what am I going to do with this I really don't like vitamin C that much for my skin even though I know that it would make it more vibrant I haven't been the crazy about it just because it kind of irritates my skin so I was reluctant to try this and then when it was with my makeup and I think I got too powder trigger happy and one thing led to another it just looked really it looked layered and I really wanted it to become seamless and I didn't want to put a setting spray that was matte on it and I just grabbed this and I've been in love with it ever since it looks really 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 good with makeup but it also looks really good underneath in the preparation of the skin which is nice Alba um, Botanica Hawaiian facial cleanser it's a pore purifying pineapple enzyme I really didn't like this I wasn't the craziest about it come on um, the reason that I wasn't the craziest about it, I remember the first time I used it, I enjoyed it because I had makeup on and it helps sort of get any extra layer, especially when I use my scrub. But trying to use this every day just wasn't it. I do like that it's a um, recycled material, so this is like great for the environment, which is nice. You get a decent size. It's definitely a great price point. Um, just cleanse the skin. Allow the other products to do the things that you need, whether it's to exfoliate or to um, brighten or anything like that. I'm not a huge fan of like cleansers trying to do extra work other than cleanse that's just my that's just my gem especially as somebody who's oily skin I'm prone to acne I definitely have some dry areas this just wasn't like it and usually papaya enzyme kind of things work really great for my dark spots but like I said, I prefer to use some sort of like active ingredient in a product as opposed to a cleanser because it just kind of feels like it's constantly stripping away and that eventually to me dries out my skin in particular. So I have mixed feelings. I, this is the Bosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. I don't know if I really love it per se. I, I did use it. It definitely was hydrating. I will say that maybe this, I will agree that this definitely helped cut back the breakouts just because it has like that detoxifying um, uh, charcoal ingredient inside of it. And so my skin did enjoy it, but when I didn't use it, I didn't feel like I missed it. I had some highs and lows with this. This is the Sunday Riley Cleanse Rinse Cleansing Balm. It's the Blue Moon. Um, it's one of those products that it's definitely not like everywhere in the market like if you go to sephora you probably wouldn't find this come on you probably wouldn't find this 3.4 ounces 
I like the concept of like balm to an oil rinse once it emulsifies with water, but I don't like that it had the grains in it. And I'm, I, this was geared more to dry people. And when I got it, I'm, I'm not dry. So I think that I was constantly exfoliating at a usage that I really wasn't interested in exfoliating. If I, exfoliate, I know people that exfoliate quite often and I prefer to exfoliate once or twice a week. That's what my skin can personally handle. And I love makeup and so while I was using this I tr I had to like adjust my thinking and mentality constantly over and over and over to like use this because at a certain point it kind of like the grains were really I don't they were they're small but they uh, on someone who's sensitive it feels kind of hard the Laneige lip sleeping mask I've had this for basically like two and a half years it's probably my favorite lip balm ever i think that this is probably one of the products that i feel like everyone should own like if i ever got married i promise you my bridesmaid will have this in their gift bags that's how much i love this product i have never come across a product that i feel like everyone needs to try and this is one of those products that like i think growing up we all really liked vaseline and that petroleum and that like glossy look but it was to protect a barrier so that the coldness wouldn't make your lips more chapped but it didn't hydrate and what I feel like this is that it's reminiscent of like a you know 90s mommy wearing fucking petroleum but this is hydrating and go to sleep with this and it lasts every fucking night so my last thing oh my god this, is, this video in 20 minutes is the Schmitz germ geranium 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 flower I probably wouldn't buy this deodorant again. Um, I don't. I enjoy the smell. Did help with like sensitive skin. I have fully detoxed and got my pits out of the aluminum Dove Degree generic uh, drugstore deodorants, and I feel such a difference. Like even when I shave my pits or I I like even and I don't know I just feel like they're healthier and they feel better and like I used to feel the burn so much um I'm currently wearing um Schmitz rose and vanilla I end up okay so I'm a huge fan of the uh, I should word this different I'm not saying I'm a huge fan of the brand I think the brand still has some work to do in terms of like creating like an ideal product I wasn't that crazy in repurchasing this probably because it's a sensitive formula and I feel like they put something in it for sensitivity and, and the balance of coconut products uh, it's a hit or miss because I, I don't like excessive co uh, coconut oil and products or coconut product in any product just because it's a monosaturated fat and a lot of times it feels really heavy on the pig and so I noticed the difference between this one and that one and this one was made for sensitive so you live and you learn I'm just happy that my pits are not at the stage of feeling like aluminum is burning my I think this was either from Sephora or maybe when I was in BoxyCharm would I repurchase probably not I don't like that when you take the tube out there was just product all the way around and it's just like a super wet like wet mascara and that kind of kind of got annoying and it felt like extremely unnecessary like I put it in and then like look at this <laughs> yeah like who wants it? and then you put it back in your makeup chest or your makeup bag or whatever and it's just a mess and having to clean that is extremely ridiculous I would say if the company was to remake that again I'd be like figure out a, with an engineer how to probably put a mascara one in there without so much excess product in there because if you're spending over fucking 10 15 20 25 almost 30 dollars for mascara you don't want to lose product and then on top of that it's super wet um i like the i loved this like i've given this mascara to my friends i've tried it on different people it's a really good mascara it just has a couple things a couple kinks that they need to figure out to make it a better product and that's why we have channels like me to give my opinion all right guys so that wraps up my video um down down below if you tried any of these products i love doing these videos if there's, if there's anything you want me to try or give an opinion on please sound down in the comment section and let me know like share subscribe comment do your whole fucking thing and make sure that every week you're coming back to hang out with your girl sherry alicia and i will see you guys next time see ya